Hello, welcome to SharePoint Journey. This is Devendra Veligandla. In this lesson, you will learn how to debug PowerShell scripts using Windows PowerShell ISC. So, this is very common task for an administrator or even the developer to write a lot of PowerShell scripts. So, when you are writing PowerShell scripts, you need to know how to debug them so that you can write more accurate PowerShell scripts okay we'll see how to debug those PowerShell scripts using Windows PowerShell ISC let's switch back to the VM here we'll open Windows PowerShell ISC console okay this is the one so and we'll use this one to debug the scripts now okay let me open the sample PowerShell script Okay, which I have to display the sub document libraries from the site. Okay, this is the site where we'll get the site details and going through the, all the lists and getting the document library and display the title of it. If you just execute the script, what it is going to do is it is going to display what are all the document libraries which we have. We have only one document library which is of documents. Now, if I want few more properties of this, so how I'm going to do it, and I don't know what are the properties of that list, and I want to fetch few more details. So what should I do? So I'll just debug this list to find more properties. Okay. So press F9 here, which is to set a breakpoint, to and press the same F9 if you want to remove it. So to explore more options which you have for the debug, click on debug option where you have all those F10, F11 option and debug it, put a breakpoint and even if you want to disable all the breakpoints, remove breakpoints. So all those options are available using this debug tab. So just press F9 and click F5 to execute it. So it has hit a breakpoint at this point of time. So you can see that the URL is SP journey. Press F10 to go inside. Okay. And now if you see this list, just hover it on top of it to see a more properties of that particular list. So you can see all those informations like created, workflows association, last modified date, what is the ID, what is the title, all that information you can see and you can write your script accordingly and fetch the details. Okay. I hope you understood how to debug the PowerShell scripts using the Windows PowerShell ISC. Thank you for your time. We'll see you in the next lesson.